everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure if you're new here that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the videos that I do every single week about a wide variety of topics. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And I have some bad news for you guys. It's really sad. I'm not in Disney World anymore. <laughs> We got back a couple days ago and I'm trying to adjust to normal life, but I had a few videos I needed to film for my Disney series when I got back. I just ran out of time before we left. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the Disney videos that I have already had that got, have gone up on my channel. I will link my Disney playlist in the description box below in case you've missed any of this year's Disney series videos or any of the Disney videos I've done in the past on my channel. That will be, my Disney playlist will be linked in the description box below. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some stroller tips and hacks for Disney World or Disneyland. Whenever our kids would turn two, that will be when we started going to Disney World. So really, we've gone every year since then, sometimes twice, with kids in a stroller. And there's a couple things I've learned along the way that really help making, that really helps to make using a stroller at Disney a lot more enjoyable and a lot easier. So the first thing is to make sure that when you are packing for Disney, uh, you don't forget your ponchos and you do not forget to pack either an extra poncho for the stroller or an actual stroller cover because if it rains at Disney and you're out you don't want to be like your kids stuck in the stroller just like soaking wet and it's nice to keep everything dry in the stroller so um, we always just would get an extra an extra poncho and throw it over the stroller and something else that really stinks too is if you're at Disney World and you think you're going to be smart and park your stroller under a canopy if it's raining and that's not designated stroller parking, the Disney cast members will move your stroller into the rain. We learned that the hard way a couple years ago. So just make sure you're bringing either an extra poncho for the stroller or an actual stroller cover. Stroller hack number two is to make your stroller stand out. A lot of strollers look the same at Disney and there's like a sea of strollers. And if you don't have any way to identify your stroller from anybody else's, it's going to be really difficult to find your stroller when you go back to get it. So make sure that you're marking your stroller in some way, whether it's a ribbon on the handle or a balloon on the handle or your name or some way that you're distinguishing your stroller from everyone else's. Stroller hack number three, and this depends on the age of your children, but consider possibly parking your stroller in a designated stroller area and then having your child that's normally in the stroller um, having them walk with you to watch a parade or fireworks. It's really, really crowded on the sidewalks if you're waiting for a parade, and it's really, really crowded if you are waiting for fireworks, and it's really hard to get out if you've got a stroller. So just consider that. Now, obviously, if you've got a really tiny child who needs to rest or something, then, you know, bring your stroller. But just think about that maybe if you've got an older kid that could easily stand for a little while and wait for a parade or the fireworks. Um, it's really a lot easier to maneuver the crowds when you're not trying to push a stroller through them. Stroller hack number four, and this is especially important if it is a stroller that is new to you, like if you purchased a new stroller before you're going to Disney or you're going to rent a stroller when you get down there, um, and it's, if it's not one of the Disney ones that are not foldable, but like if you're renting a stroller that's foldable, get used to how to fold it up pretty quickly before you head to the parks because it is really hard to get on and off the tram with a stroller that you're not familiar with and you don't know how it folds up and Everyone's trying to rush on the tram and you're trying to fold this stroller up that you've never folded up before. So take a little bit of time to practice folding the stroller up before you actually head out to the parks. Tip number five is to pack smaller bags of things that go in your park bag. That way when you get in the park and it's not something you need to have on you like all the time, you can, uh, once you get in and pass bag check and all that stuff, you can take those inner bags out of your park bag and put them in the bottom of the stroller and that keeps your park bag lighter but you still have access to those things in the stroller if you need them when you get back to the stroller. So things like jackets and ponchos, anything like that that you don't need to have on you like 24 seven, have those in like a smaller bag that you can slip in the bottom of your stroller and it comes in really, it's really nice when you're carrying a backpack around and you don't wanna to have to carry unnecessary stuff that you may not need. Um, it's nice to have that in the bottom of the stroller in a separate bag that you can just pull in and out when you need and um, it makes things a lot easier on your back. Stroller hack number six is to make sure that whether you're renting or you're bringing your own stroller from home, that the stroller you're gonna be using at Disney is in good condition. It pushes well, the wheels aren't broken, the handle's not broken, the wheels are all wobbly and wonky because nothing is worse than trying to push a stroller at Disney with a kid in it with all these bags on it that is like not wanting to push or not turning corners. We had that actually happen last year when we rented a stroller from a different company and it was a horrible experience and the thing would not push, the wheels wouldn't turn, it was awful. So 
make sure that the stroller that you rent or that you bring from home is in good qual is in good condition before you go to Disney. Stroller hack number seven is to make sure that your child that's in the stroller is comfortable. Obviously, they're getting pushed around, so they're pretty lucky already. But it doesn't hurt to have a UV like sunshade for the stroller, which is basically something that goes on top of the stroller canopy. Usually, it extends it a little bit. And it usually also has UV protection in it, so it helps to block a little bit more of the sun from shining down on this kid that's in the stroller. And also a stroller fan, especially if you have the canopy down. Sometimes there's not much airflow that's getting in there, and it can be a little hot, especially in Florida. So a stroller fan with a clip is really nice. I don't have one to show you anymore because we don't have a stroller here at home. But you can find tons of them on Amazon. I'm sure you can find them somewhere in town, like maybe at Walmart. But they have a clip on them. You hang them upside down by the canopy. Um, and then it blows air and blows air into the stroller to keep the child cool. It's especially important if they happen to sleep in the stroller. You know how it is when like you're laying down somewhere hot, but you're asleep and you don't know it, and you wake up and you're just like drenched in sweat. You don't want that to happen to your child. So a stroller fan comes in really handy. So those are my stroller hacks for going to the Disney parks. This video is also a review of Kingdom Strollers. I did a video about them last year when I compared them to the Apple Stroller Rental Company at Disney. If you don't know already, you can definitely rent a stroller from Disney while you're down there, but there are also outside stroller rental companies that will bring your stroller to your hotel and deliver it to you, and all you have to do is use it while you're down there and then drop it back off at Bell Services and they will pick it up. Last year we had an idea to do that, to rent a stroller, because we don't use a stroller here for our youngest daughter and we didn't have one to use for her. And last year I knew I wanted to get her a stroller because she does get tired still. It's a lot of walking. And so we used Apple strollers. It was a horrible experience. That was the stroller I was talking about a minute ago where I said it was like it wouldn't push and the wheels wouldn't turn and it was just crazy. Um, so we actually last year mid-trip turned that one back into Apple strollers and rented from Kingdom strollers. It was an amazing experience. I did a video about that last year. It's in the Disney playlist. So if you go to my Disney playlist link in the description box, you'll find that video where I compared the two companies. But it is like night and day. And so we chose to use Kingdom Strollers again this year. So it's our second year using them. And our experience this year was just as good, if not better than the last. I mean, they have the highest quality strollers. They are clean. They have amazing customer service. And this stroller we had this year was like super awesome. Last year's was amazing. We had the Mini GT, I believe. But this year we had the Bob three-wheeled stroller. And that thing pushes literally with one finger. It comes with a stroller cover, so like I mentioned in one of my earlier tips about bringing a stroller cover, Kingdom Strollers will provide you with a stroller cover if it rains. They also provide you with a name plaque on the back of your strollers that has your name on it. So again, going back to one of my other tips of making your stroller identifiable because they already put your name on there for you so you don't even have to worry about that. My husband and I just could not believe how easily the stroller pushed. I mean, she's our daughter now is seven and I know some people might think, well, she's too old to push to ride in a stroller, but honestly, they get tired. The average person walks between six and 13 miles on a trip to Disney in one day. That's a lot for a kid. And let's just be honest, kids are also slow. And so you don't wanna be spending the whole trip like dragging this kid behind you because they don't walk as fast as you do. Their legs aren't as long. Plus, I like having a stroller because I like having somewhere to put things in the bottom. We like to put our snacks down there and our coats and our ponchos. And when we're walking around the park, we'll hang the book bag off of the stroller handle. So I like having a stroller for that reason also. This stroller was awesome quality. It pushed so nicely. You barely had to touch it and it would push on its own. It turned on a dime. It was amazing. So highly recommend Kingdom Strollers if you are looking to purchase if you're looking to rent a stroller while you're down at disney disney does rent strollers to you but it's actually cheaper to get one from kingdom strollers than it is to rent from disney for disney to rent um, one of their strollers for one day it's 15 dollars. if you are going to rent a stroller for a week or something or how long you're gonna be down there it's 13 dollars a day so just for an example from our trip with eight nights it would have cost us 104 dollars to rent a stroller from Disney which is hard and plastic and there's no padding and it's not very comfortable versus using Kingdom Strollers where we got this super high quality really nice stroller that was clean and so for eight nights actually eight nights through ten nights it's only eighty dollars to rent the Bob three-wheeled stroller that we had so there's a little bit of price savings there plus it's just a much more comfortable stroller for your kid it's a lot easier to push and they will bring it to your hotel and then you can drop it back off at bell services and they will pick it up so i highly 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 recommend kingdom strollers if you are looking to rent a stroller when you're at disney and you want a high quality stroller 
with ex excellent customer service and you want to save a little bit of money off of what Disney would charge you to rent one of their strollers, definitely check out Kingdom Strollers. I will have them linked in the description box below if you want more information about the different strollers that they offer and the weight limits and all that and then the pricing. Um, they, they are very reasonably priced and it's just a great quality stroller and an amazing company all the way around. So hopefully this video was helpful and you got some good stroller hacks for your next trip to Disney and then also gave you some information about Kingdom Strollers because they are awesome and I can't say enough good things about them. So check out my Disney playlist in the description box below and check out the Kingdom Strollers website in the description box below for more information and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.